Let's get physical, it's Jordan here back in with this week's update and all the physical releases coming to the Switch. We are in the second full week of July, July 12th until the 16th, Monday to Friday, retail low print imports. And once again, I am out and about. This week I'm next to a lake because, I don't know, I was on my way home, we saw a lake so why not film it? This episode is sponsored by the EPOS H3 Closed Acoustic Gaming Headset. It has everything the modern gamer needs, great powerful audio, especially in that sweet bass, adaptability, sleek, comfortable design, easily adjustable volume, and the fact that you can instantly mute a microphone by clicking it vertically when you need to, you know, pretend you're interested in whatever your loved one is trying to talk with you about, you know. We all have to do that sometimes. This works with all modern consoles and PC, but as a Switch gamer who likes to sit on the sofa with the console in my hands, it's brilliant. And as long as I sit in the corner, no one is any of the wiser of what weird Japanese game I may be playing at that particular time with their very, shall we say, uh, distinct audio design. If you're looking for a high quality headset, head over to epostaudio.com or click the links in the description to pick up your H3 headset today. Anyways, let's take a look at this week's games. Hotline Miami Collection is getting a brand new release in both North America and Europe. Yes, this got a release via limited run and special reserve already, but this is more readily available. So this is the third release that this game has had, better for Europe then. And apparently this version includes a 30 page art book. Now these games are very popular, especially the first game, brutal action at its finest. If you didn't pick them up previously, well now is a good time. I can see a few people being slightly disgruntled by this release considering the hype that was built for Special Reserve and Limited Run, but personally, I will take retail all day, any day of the week over the low print releases. And this is Cigar Trucker and Brent McLean's Pick of the Week. Curved Space is releasing in the US this week. This is an interesting shmup that's 2D in nature but takes place in a 3D space, kinda. Just looking at the trailer gives you the idea. It's twin stick as you wrap around the terrain. It looks like it could be simple fun and it's at a budget physical price of just $20, yeah? $20, that's the cheapest I've ever seen a physical cartridge for. Let's just hope it has a nice gameplay loop to go along with it. No word on a European release, but European people, I put some links below if you want this cheap shooter with free shipping in the description and pinned comment. And Velos and Robotech, they're going for something a little bit different this week. It is their pick of the week. A Tale of Synapse, the Chaos series is releasing in Europe this week. There's no North American release as I confirmed with the publisher. This mixes platforming with mathematics and puzzles in a very interesting art style. You can play in single player or in co-op while testing your synapses. I've never played it, but the trailer looks rather interesting, although I'm probably a little bit too dumb for something like this. I'm kind of allergic to math problems. It's an affliction I've suffered with since I was 16 years old and I have a note from my doctor about it. It's, it's a legit illness. I'm allergic to maths. There's a standard edition and a collector's edition which includes an art book, soundtrack CD, keyring and some stickers, I think. If you're in North America and you fancy a maths platforming problem, then I'll pop links below in the description where you can import it yourself with free shipping nonetheless. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD is releasing this week. It's obviously the big hitter, a Zelda game that really gets forgotten about. It was released on the Wii when the console was really waning, but you know, Nintendo often released the latest Zelda when the console is dying rather than during its peak. So it's nice to get another chance at life in full HD now and not with the, the Vaseline smear of the Wii console. There's some quality of life changes and a sweet bump in frame rate too. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be picking this one up and despite being a massive fan of Zelda games myself, it's one of the very few that I've never played. So I'm looking forward to it. Although let's not wait too long until Wind Waker and Twilight HD in Nintendo. I'll give it six months after Breath of the Wild 2 then I'm sure we'll see those two games. And God of Resin, Punky Dooster, Jonathan Brumo, and Jcross7776 is their pick of the week. Let's head into a section I like to call Code in a Box Bullshit. Yes, this week on Amazon UK we've got Joe's Diner, a crap horror game. We've got Pineview Drive, a crap horror game. We've got Forestry The Simulation, a probably crap lumberjack game. And we've got Worms Rumble, a probably decent battle royale game that doesn't actually run so well on the Switch but it's a code in a box. And that concludes this week's code in a box bullshit. All right, let's jump into the low prints now. Uh, here is a game I'm rather excited about, Trigger Witch. This is from the hands of the rather lovely Reverie, uh, but this one is an open world twin stick shooter. 
let's just cut to the chase. It's basically Zelda if it was a brutal twin stick shooter. It's got dungeons, big bosses, and that ever so distinct top-down Zelda art style. I cannot wait for this one. This is exclusive to Play Asia. There's a standard edition as well as a collector's edition which is limited to 2,000 copies and includes a soundtrack CD. Yes, please. The pre-order for this one is going live on Thursday, 11 p.m. Hong Kong time, and you can use our discount code to get 5% off Switch Watch TV. And so, yeah, I would massively appreciate it, guys, if you came back here on Thursday, if you're going to buy it, and use the link below in the description, because if you do, then it massively helps support this channel and this series especially. Thank you ever so much, and we really appreciate it. And of course, it is free shipping month for July for Play Asia, so don't miss out, even on pre-orders. And they also have their very first PS5 release for this one, so if you're looking to start your collection for that console, then don't miss that either. And this is Alexander Kato, Pick of the Week. So Leveler is up for pre-order right now at redartgames.com. This is a short, sweet pixel platformer that demands precision. We've seen these kind of games before, you're gonna die a lot. A mix of trial and error and plenty of skill too. It looks pretty good if you're into these sorts of games. Uh, this may be available in some European retailers, but if you want the nice card sleeve, then redartgames.com is the place you want to go. And you can order from there with 10% off if you use the code SWATCH10. Non-affiliate, we don't earn a dime, it's just a little bonus for you guys. And this is Cartoon Sorum's Pick of the Week. Pix and Love in Europe announced a nice little collector's edition for the upcoming No More Heroes 3 release. Uh, that will be a standard retail, but here we have some nice editions that are very limited. In fact, so limited they're sold out already. I'm sorry they pulled the Craig David on me. There was a collector's edition and there was a deluxe edition available. Um, both versions are sold out, so uh, I don't even want to say what's inside of them because I don't want to upset you guys. But, you, you know, you're not missing too much. Uh, there was no big, massive thing inside of it. Certainly no No More Heroes 1 and 2, which is in the Japanese collector's edition, which, by the way, has been confirmed to all have English 1, 2, and 3 on two different cartridges. So uh, look out for pre-orders on that one. Anyways, this collector's edition was was Boombox and Michael Del Polito's pick of the week. Star Hunter DX and Space Morph is a double pack of simple shooters uh, releasing together from Streetly Limited Games. They're both bullet hell style games and they're looking rather retro despite being fairly new. One is a horizontal one, one is a vertical one. They look okay, but nothing that's exciting me a whole lot. There's a standard edition as well as a collector edition which includes a soundtrack, poster, cards and pin. 1,000 units of that are available if it's not sold out already. Ruby, I think it's pronounced, R-W-B-Y, is a new pre-order opening on July 16th from Limited Run Games. Based on an animated show, this is a four-player online hack-and-slash style game. It looks pretty cool. My kind of budgeted game, simple, mindlessness. Simple, mindless, that's me in a nutshell. Although perhaps you need some friends with this one, I heard it's not a great experience to play alone. There's a standard edition and a collector's edition which includes a keychain, poster, pins, sticker, and Limited Run's favorite new thing, a shadow box. Who knew they were so popular? Limited Run also snapped up a new Kickstarter campaign called Sacrifier. This is a fully funded Kickstarter with only like a day left to go, but Limited Run are doing the physical for it. It's a JRPG style game that has some pretty sweet visuals going for it, at least in the campaign trailer. Remember, this campaign ends very, very soon, so if you want to support it, don't hang around. I also want to give a quick shout out to Premium Edition Games. Their pre-order period for their second season of games is coming to a close this week. So don't miss out if you want to get a really cool slipcover to go along with their games. Now, I don't usually do pre-order closing like time periods because, uh, you know, I'd be here all week. But, uh, you know, Premium Edition Games, they're a new company. Give them a little boost. So go over there and pre-order their games. Don't miss out on the cover sleeve. All right, let's jump into the imports. Remember, guys, if anything takes your fancy and you'd like to import it for yourself, then consider using the links below in the description and the pinned comment. If you use those links, and it also massively helps support this series ever so much. You guys are wonderful, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you ever so much for your support. Plus, in return, if you use our links below, then you can also get a very nice 5% off any physical item from Play Asia with the coupon code Switchwatch TV. That's while checking out all one word Switchwatch TV for 5% off any physical item. And it is still free shipping month from Play Asia. So now is the best time to get your orders in, get even your pre orders in. Uh, and yeah, don't miss out on free shipping because shipping is probably the most difficult thing about Play Asia. 
All right, this week we've got Everyone Spelunker. It's releasing in Japan this week. Now, this is releasing in the West via Strictly Limited Games in Europe, but who knows when that will be sent out. You know, they like to take their time. They said November, December time, but you'll notice they didn't say which year, eh? Hmm. So this Japanese release has English and there's a collector's edition too which comes with a minifigure, a soundtrack CD and a guidebook. Here you explore the caves either alone or better with friends. You can even switch between the old art style and the new one. I like the collector's edition box art, uh, it's proper retro style. I think Street Limited have the same one as well. Crayon Shinchan or a Hakashi no, I'm not even gonna bother, sorry guys, is an exhaustive name and it's a, based off a classic Japanese cartoon. I actually very recently watched a couple of episodes of this cartoon with my daughter and actually it's really really charming, I really liked it. Uh, so I would be interested in this but it don't have English and you know what's even more painful is that it actually looks amazing. This game, it reminds me of that old 3DS game, uh, Attack of the Friday Monsters. Anybody remember that? Uh, it's a bit of like a, a life adventure kind of thing. A little bit of JRPG thrown in there too. Uh, I don't know what to make of it, but I'm just crying internally that it does not have English. EDF 2 is releasing in Japan this week. This is a third person action schlock shooter. Uh, you shoot alien bugs and it's in the more traditional style of the game unlike the recent World Brothers. I know a lot of people are excited about this one. Me too. I believe it's coming to the West digitally at some point, but this Japanese release don't have English. What are you guys doing to me? Why? Here we go. Monster War Tao Shite Tsuyo Kenya Yoro Wo Tani Shinasa Yusha Tage Mao Wo Tao Su Sono Hai Wo Shinjimatsu Jesus freaking Christ Japan Why? This is an action RPG that does not have English and I've just said all of that for nothing. Imagine saying that in a conversation, even in Japanese. You try to tell someone, have you played the word they have left before you even get it out. Anyways, also have Wan Nyan Pet Shop Kawaii Pet No Fury of Manchi. Oh god, it's a pet simulation game that doesn't have English, so uh, yeah. And I just want to close out this episode with a little bit of information about Project Zero Fatal Frame. Now a lot of people keep telling me, look, PlayAsia have the European and American physical release for pre-order. No, I checked with Koei, my contact in the PR department, and they told me Europe and North America, Project Zero is digital only. If you want the physical release, you need to pick up the Asian or the Japanese release. Both of those have English, but it's the only way to get the physical version. So don't believe what PlayAsia tells you about that. They just put some like a, a placement kind of a placeholder kind of thing. So uh, it's digital only in the West. If you want Project Zero Fatal Frame physically, Asian, Japanese release links are below if you want to pre-order it. All right, well, and once again, I'm really sorry that there's no spotlight this week, but next week, uh, I'm going home. If I, I'm on my way home right now. I just stopped at the lake to show you this thing. So uh, uh, yeah, you can send in your photos for the Cumulus Spotlight next week. Please only send one photo by the usual methods, Twitter, uh, Discord, or the email switchwatchspotlight at gmail.com. Please only send me one picture though. Only one, okay, because there's going to be a shit ton. And I think that's it. I'm going to check out right now because I'm I'm, it might not look sunny, but it is incredibly disgustingly hot right now and I'm sweating in places you didn't know you could sweat in. So uh, I'm going to go get some air conditioning in the car now. I'll see you guys next week. Have a good one.